All right, hey everybody. So this is another project share video. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, here's another one of those file folder mini albums uh, that I made and I use the file folder card box from Scrap Diva Designs. It's so cute. Um, I use this super bright pink paper and uh, this design paper or collection that I used is the um, Paige Taylor Blooming Wild paper. Now that is so far from my normal craft style. However, I was obsessed with all the colors and just how busy it was. Like it was so busy, but I loved it. And so I bought um, some of the pieces from the collection. And she does such an awesome job with making her mini albums and stuff that I just, I had to get the collection. It's just so fun. So um, here's this, the little, another little full file folder mini album. Um, I made it super chunky, super busy. All these flowers are cut from the design paper using um, Tim Holtz uh, flower dies. I don't remember which one I think, I have almost all of them. So a combination of a few of them. Um, so lots of dimension, added glitter around all the edging. Um, there's chipboard pieces, ephemera pieces. Uh, these border dies back here are from Scrap Diva. Uh, let's see. Oh, this from the chipboard, so cute. Um, so yeah. All right, so this full file folder mini album is mostly for photos. So uh, just lots of ephemera went into this. And some more flowers, another border piece. Here's a little pocket, a little slit. I love that little die. That's so versatile. And so, well, I can't see. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and then a chipboard piece. And then here's a little Polaroid piece. Let me take this out so you guys can see. So a photo could go back there. And then this is that heart plate number three, number two or three. I don't, I can't recall, but I love that die. That die is super fun and so cute. Look at the stitching, so cute. And then I have this little flip up here, but that shape, this shape is from the loaded banner die set. I use the smallest of this shape and it fits perfectly um, with this album, this sizing. I didn't have to really cut it down or anything. And there's a little tab that flips up. And the photo can go back here. Another place for photo. And then that flips down. And then you open it again. Place for photo. Some more of that, those uh, spring borders from Scrap Diva. More of those Tim Holtz flowers. And then this flips up. Space for photo. And then another one, those little flip tabs. I love this little swing. It's so fun, I don't know. And then um, flips down. And then get the layering piece too. So don't have to worry about um, measuring or anything like that. That's why I love her dies. Um, because she gives you like all the pieces like, so you don't have to worry about, you know, measuring to layer. And so this goes, close it. And then here I made a pocket, but I used another one of those foul folder tab dies to cut the little tab. And then here's just like some little pocket pieces. Okay, and that flips open. More ephemera and pockets. What's this here? These come out. But you could write like a date on the back or what you were doing and then put a photo. And then um, here's the back. So because this box fits too, I'm gonna make another one. Uh, but the next one is gonna be more for just like notes with lots of lined paper and tickets that can be written on. All right, so that's that project share. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and let me know if you picked up this paper by Paige Taylor Evans. I would love to know how many of you guys are scrapbooking with it so I can come by and see what you're using. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys.